On the internet, there are two groups of people. On one side, those that believe that generative models, including LLMs, will continue to rapidly improve and will dramatically change our lives in the coming years. And on the other hand, some people believe that AI is a bubble and that AI improvement will slow down very soon. They say we are getting diminishing returns from generative AI architectures and achieving artificial general intelligence is going to take a long time, maybe even decades, if it is ever possible. I think this second group is wrong. Let's analyze why. First, I want to bring our attention to the moving goalposts. Before this era of generative AI, people said that AI would only be capable of automating very simple tasks, but they would never be capable of producing art, for example, because art is born from human creativity and that is a unique trait of humans. But nowadays, generative AIs are already winning art competitions. So AI is definitely capable of producing art that at least a significant fraction of humans can appreciate. You may say that the art is low quality, mediocre and uninspired, and we can debate that. But if a lot of people appreciate it as art, enough for it to win competitions, then I would say that it is already art. Another thing I remember is that when ChatGPT came out, some people said that generative models would never be able to reason, since they are simply predicting the next token. They are just stochastic parrots, quote unquote. But then, GPT-4 came out, and it was capable of, for example, explaining a joke to you, and to some level, analyze a series of steps necessary to achieve a result and also explain why each one of those steps was necessary. And it was capable of doing this in novel situations that we can safely assume were not in its training data. I would say that with state-of-the-art LLMs, we are in the presence of some sort of reasoning. I suppose that these AIs are creating an internal model of how reasoning works, and that model is good enough for a fraction of the reasoning tasks we have in our day-to-day -day life but that fraction could well increase pretty fast in the coming years. I am not alone in this. Lots of AI researchers believe that generative models are capable of inferring the underlying world model of the data that is fed to them by creating an internal representation that is adjusted to their inputs. A good example of how these AIs are creating internal models of the world is Sora. This AI was fed with a lot of video, which is just a bunch of sequences of 2D images and Sora was capable of deducing how three-dimensional objects in space should look and behave, and how lighting and shadows work, even though it wasn't fed any specific instruction on how to render lighting or shadows. Just as we humans are capable of inferring depth from a 2D picture, Sora is capable of doing the same. It creates a 3D internal representation of the world from a set of 2D pictures. So, today, the people who are still denying the growing capabilities of AI models have to resort to new goalposts, like saying that a human expert is always going to be required, because generative AI can't have medium to long term goals. But if that capability of AI models to infer the underlying rules of a system by simply seeing lots of examples continues progressing, then I think that even those goalposts could be eventually surpassed. One of the arguments that AI skeptics use is that the rate of progress of AI should follow some sort of logarithmic curve, because the low hungering fruits in AI research have already been harvested, that is, the most efficient methods of emulating human-like behavior have already been discovered and are being actually used. They say that keeping the current rate of improvement in AI is going to be impossible because we are now exploiting techniques with progressively diminishing returns. However, I don't think there's any good indication that we are past the point of diminishing returns. For one, the computational capabilities of hardware keep improving at a staggering rate, and historically, we've seen that the main way to improve AI performance is an increase in computational power. There's a great article by Rich Sudon that says that more computation always ends up being the winning strategy in AI. First, it happened with chess. People thought that explaining chess strategy to the computer would be the way to beat humans, but in the end, 
It was brute force or deep search, the strategy that eventually beat Garry Kasparov, thanks to the growing computational power of the time. For the game of Go, it was more or less a similar thing. And it's very likely that with AI we are going to see a similar path. There is no secret architecture that will prevail as the winning strategy for years. Eventually, GPUs and NPUs become faster, and then AI becomes better. So that is why I think that AI skeptics will keep losing. Their predictions will keep being proven wrong. Does this mean that generative AI is the path towards AGI? Not necessarily, but I wouldn't rule that possibility out completely like some people do. I do think that during the next few years, generative AI will keep progressing at a fast pace, and it's going to surprise even non-skeptics with its capabilities. We are going to realize that AI is, to some degree, already creating a relatively good model of how our world works, and it's not just a stochastic parrot. What is your opinion? Please leave a comment below, and if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Goodbye.